This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. What's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Harakanux. Welcome to a very special and interesting video about this little case here. It's got a lot of very unique functionalities built into it. Uh, and also this video is going to be a little bit unique because we have one camera, two camera, three camera. Hopefully the RX100 is uh, you know picking up some nice overhead shots. And this is not going to be in a review video. Instead, this is going to be an overview video of this case because this is the Cerberus by Chimera Industries Cerberus case. Cerberus, it's a very interesting name for uh, you know a chassis, but uh, I guess it's based off some creature, so it would be very easy for them to you know label their future releases and stuff. But this case has just launched on Kickstarter, so you are able to. Uh, you know, if you like the direction, the design, the functionality, the potential of what you can do with such an enthusiast case, you can support them on Kickstarter and we'll leave the link down in the description below for you. So the entire cool thing about the Cerberus case is the fact that it's super tiny. It's only 18 liters in volume on the interior. Uh, yet it features so it packs basically so much functionality into it and you can see design wise It's very reminiscent of the end case uh, Enclosure which was ITX, but the end case you can check it out the review over here on the description And that was fantastic super space efficient and like you can do so much with it. Well uh, Chimera am I spelling Chimera Industries is taking in the whole the design approach uh, something that was you know, very similar in the uh, what they want to do with space efficiency and transfer it, translate it into something that works very well in a compact enclosure, but this time with a micro ATX form factor. So that's awesome because you can see in the back we have not you know, not two PCI slots like you would normally have on an ITX enclosure, but we have five. So that's awesome because if you want to do SLI, you know, you have the potential to do so. So let's begin by talking about the exterior. This is all steel with a beautiful powder coat on top. So it's kind of matte black. It doesn't leave much fingerprints. Now, because it's steel and not aluminum, like on the previous, uh, you know, like on the end case competition almost enclosures, this thing is freaking heavy, you know, just by itself. But it also means that it's very solid. Um, and that I like. Uh, although I do like the solidness and the lightness factor of aluminum. So the panels here are all detachable with clips and they talk about their sort of philosophy be be behind this sort of uh, integ integration of having these little clips to that attach into the panel so you don't have to deal with thumb screws or just screws in general. And uh, to me that this type of modular approach up when opens possibilities for future panels so you can maybe take this off, paint it, mod it, um, you know, p potentially have different types of panels in the future and that's so awesome. So everything on this enclosure is pretty much detachable. So the front panel here, the top panel, and these clips are uh, industry like some grade, industry grade, very quality stuff. Uh, there's a bit of stiffness to them, so they're not going to be popping out. You know, this is a glass table, and Eber is going to kill me if I break it. But check this out. So normally, if you would have a poor panel that is steel, that has quite a uh, good heft to it, uh, weight to it, you know, it would pop out. But check this out. This is actually very difficult. Maybe a little bit too difficult to take out. But... Uh, <sighs> So sometimes you just kind of got to get in there and they're really kind of not stuck in there, but they're very tight inside their own joints. Yes, here we go. Let me just get to the bottom of this. You just got to get the nails in there and pull. But I'm afraid for my nails, man. All right. Good thing this glass is uh, <laughs> steel proof, but okay. At least some panels are off. And I'll show you in a second how cool these panels are. Okay, this one I think would be easier to take off. But if they could at least make something, some type of uh, removable process so it's not super difficult, that would be fantastic. But this is actually almost a production sample, so I can assume they, they can take this and refine it. Now, the cool thing about this panel 
is you notice there's only three notches on each side, top and the bottom. This means that this panel is reversible. So uh, if you have a panel with ventilation holes on here, uh, you can position it either you know this way so that if you have a CPU cooler on the top part of the, the case, then it would intake air here. But if you have GPUs here that need air, you can simply flip the panel and sort of you know work with that. But the cool thing about the top here, so I was looking at this and wondering, what the hell is this little bracket at the top, which isn't doesn't have any mounting points for a fan or anything like that, but this is where you would be able to install a handle. So once we install the top panel, uh, you guys can see that these holes align, so you'll be able to mount a handle on the top without sacrificing anything on the interior. So it doesn't bother any components on the inside, and that's actually pretty awesome. Usually with you know installation of a handle uh, requires like something inside the frame that um, you know maybe compromising some interior clearance and stuff. But here it's not the case. You can simply mount uh, the optional handle on the top and carry the case to wherever you go. So you can definitely tell that this is a pre-production sort of non-retail pa packaging yet because uh, all the little accessories, all the metal accessories I arrived in the anti-static anti -static motherboard bag. Inside, a very fashionable Fantex toolbox. So that's uh, props to them for this type of uh, implementation. But this is the handle. It feels extremely solid, like just, it's a simple single piece of steel, um, also powder coated. And just imagine how much cool customization you can do because everything is so modular and removable. Just have this handle on top like that and uh, bam, it's not intrusive, it's solid. It's attached directly to the frame because you have that interior structural support there. Then we also find a uh, ATX power supply bracket for the rear. So this is where you'll be able to install your power so ATX power supply in case uh, you, you have one lying around. And that is one of the reasons why you may potentially use this if you don't have the means of acquiring an SFX power supply but still want to utilize the case for a system. This is awesome. And finally, this is what we have. This is your hard drive SSD slash little brackets. So they have little holes on the side of them and they have little mounting holes at the bottom, which means you can, you know, move them around anywhere, anywhere you want, especially because both the floor and the front have those flexible mounting points. So you can literally install them anywhere inside your case. Modularity, exactly how I like it. Uh, the entire sort of uh, grid is modular. You can position the fans in whichever way you want around where you want. So um, this of course would be installed on the interior because on the, uh, on the exterior there is no room for a 120 mil fan because the, the cover would go on top uh, and obviously because of the cables here. So you will be able to install the fans on the interior anywhere around uh, the grid. And the same goes for the uh, over here. This is a 92 millimeter fan on the on the outside for the rear. Uh, also will be installed on the inside. So moving on at the bottom, it also has a very similar grid, you know, like ventilation holes as for the front. So you'd be able to install uh, like different types of configuration of fans or uh, a hard drive cage that we don't we didn't receive but I know there's gonna be like a dual hard drive cage that you'll be able to install on the interior with a similar mounting method where some holes will align with any of these openings uh, and nice and simple uh, stuff so very modular on the back not much clearance at all like if you were to install a panel here there is zero clearance and um, so all the interior cabling will have to be done, uh, well, all the cabling will have to be done on the interior, which is actually kind of a cool way to approach cable management. And here, it can be a fun challenge and it has been, uh, well, it can also be a frustrating challenge as well. Power supply support uh, would be uh, SFX and SFXL, which is the new standard from from Silverstone and it would be installed on the top here. So the power supply would be uh, sort of at the front of the case, occupying the top front portion, like here. Um, SFX and SFXL are preferred, but like I said earlier, if you want 
to use an ATX power supply in here, you can get a separate little uh, piece that would allow an ATX power supply to be installed uh, this way, right above the motherboard. So there's a little bit of uh, compatibility and some compromises to be had with a larger power supply. But of course, the whole idea of this case is to make up your mind about what type of build you want to do first, and then sort of, you know, go ahead and assemble the system. So now when we move on to the interior of the case, this is where things get interesting. Uh, lots of modular options here. Uh, and especially, of course, the, the selling point of this enclosure would be the five PCI slots for SLI. Uh, now the side bracket is awesome because it's on a hinge, so you can easily mount things outside of the case, sort of, and you can easily access the interior, interior once the system is assembled, especially if you have, let's say, like an all-in-one cooler here, you can simply open it, you don't have to remove things, and it's uh, super simple, and it's attached with two screws on the side. The thing is, this side bracket does not support a 240 mm radiator. It does support dual one, uh, 120 mm fans, but uh, for some reason, uh, they don't list compatibility with a 240 mm radiator on the side bracket, which was weird to me because the you, you'll be able to install two 120 mm fans, but uh, I guess maybe some interior clearance issues might arise. But this is weird because the N case M1, which is a more compact enclosure, does support a 240 mm radiator on the side bracket. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, the fact that you know, it's using similar mounting points over here so you can move things around. You can, you know, maybe put uh, a 140 or 120 millimeter uh, all-in-one cooler in here for the CPU. And then the other side of the portion, the other side of the bracket can be occupied by maybe a drive cage or something like that. So there are some options in here, but uh, I don't know. I was a little bit disappointed. The fact that we cannot mount a 240 mil rad on a side bracket, you can only do that on the bottom and in the front. Uh, and that again comes with its own challenges. So you cannot install an SFX power supply here if you're installing any radiator in the front. And the same goes for the bottom. If you are installing a 240 mil rad at the bottom, then what's the point of having, you know, all the, the height clearance? Because if you're not going to be using both GPU slots, for this enclosure, then uh, you know you might as well go for something a little bit smaller that can support a 240 radiator on the side. Now, the one thing that I really wish that Chimera Industries would realize and you know maybe solve is the fact that see all these I/O cables. Why are they so long? The motherboard be, will be right here, so it would be fantastic for them to realize that and give us you know sort of almost cut to the length cables because they the IO you know is diverse two USB threes very very quality power button and audio jacks but come on the cool thing though like I said earlier is this micro ATX format so the case is just a tiny bit bigger has five PCI slots and so you can sort of go to town and how you want to set things up inside dual GPUs uh, in this very tiny fact uh, form factor that can also support a handle that's fantastic. I think the enthusiast community will be very happy with something like this entering the market, uh, especially because, um, well, it's taking a lot of those same same concepts and same format ideas as the end case M1 enclosure, but taking a step further with adding two PCI slots, adding three PCI slots actually, um, and having very similar modular approach with regards to the power supply. So ATX, SFX and SFXL, cooler possibilities, you know, either with a radiator or uh, an actual CPU heatsink if you'd want to do that, to go that route. Um, and airflow options seem to be diverse, even though you have some compromises here and there. So if you have a, a power supply in the front, like an SFX or an F SFXL, then the top portion of your, uh, of this area will be occupied, but you'll still be able to install a bottom fan here. So it delivers cool air for your graphics cards. And that's awesome. Um, and so my ideal configuration here, if this was an SLI sort of rig, would be to, to, to hook up an SFX L power supply because it has a bigger fan and Silverstone has released them. Super efficient, high wattage, so you have no problem powering you know, two graphics cards and you know, a very powerful micro ATX system in here. 
have a fan here so that it delivers cool air for two graphics cards. I would definitely want the handle for my enclosure. Uh, the case side panels also comes with a little window if uh, you know you want to show off those graphics cards, so I definitely would want to do that. I don't know what else to say about this case. I'm very happy with this direction. I'm sorry about this rambling type of uh, video delivery, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let us know if you know this is something you guys are interested in. Uh, like I said earlier, link will be in the description to their Kickstarter page so you can check it out for yourself, see if it's something you wanna support. Um, but we hope that uh, you know this goes further into the future. Right now they have only a few days left and uh, they're not uh, yet close to the goal, but at least I hope that, uh, you know, regardless of what happens with the outcome of the Kickstarter campaign, that this type of enclosure foundation and the concepts move forward so we can have better enthusiasts, sort of, uh, you know, builders out there thinking about crazy things to do in such compact packages. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm Dimitri with Hara Canucks. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.